the Ohio Department of Development. And what we found was, first of all, a number of superbly done analyses of Ohio's economy by Deloitte & Touche, by Cleveland State University, by Battelle, by the Ohio Business Roundtable, by the Ohio Chamber of Commerce, all of which informed our plan. And where appropriate and necessary, we updated the information. But what was missing from the Department of Development's archives were strategic plans that were capable of being measured and being executed with goals, with strategies, with initiatives, and with performance metrics. That, as far as we can tell, has not yet existed in the history of the Ohio Department of Development, but today it does. We build on the good work that's been done in past administrations by the analyses, but now create a plan that can serve as our guide every day. And we hope that it will lead by the year 2020 to something we call the Ohio story. A story that we will tell our children or our grandchildren or they in turn will tell theirs. A story, whoa. <laughs> I think it's because I have two mics, this mic and that mic. Is that why? That's why I got like that. Okay. A story. That actually sounded good though. A story. I was like Moses. Okay. A story. Maybe that was on purpose. I don't know. Uh, for a moment there, I felt like Charles Wilson. Uh, a story of Ohio, Ohio moved from rubber to polymers from gliders to turbine engines and lunar rockets, from bicycles to biomaterials, from glass to solar panels, from petroleum-based products and power to bioproducts and fuel cells and hybrid vehicles and wind turbines. A story of how we changed Ohio by linking and leveraging our inventive past with an even more dynamic and innovative future. So now let me go through these slides very quickly and take you through our plan. It begins with understanding why we do a plan to begin with. You should know that over the last year and a half, we have had an unprecedented rate and volume of work in our department. Over 120,000 jobs are projected to be retained and created by businesses with assistance from our Department of Development and our creative and talented staff at the department. Ohio businesses are projected to create more than 41,000 jobs and retain more than 79,000 positions as a result of the day-to-day -day transactions in the Ohio Department of Development. In addition to that, we are training right now more than 50,000 Ohioans through our workforce development programs. The outreach that led to today's plan is unprecedented. Many of you participated in seven regional outreach sessions throughout the state. We, had, we put together a strategic plan advisory council, many of whom are in this room today, to guide us with their expert experience on a day-to-day -day basis. Well over a thousand Ohioans were involved in the formulation and the development of this plan. It would have been too easy to hire Battelle or Deloitte to do another study, call it a plan, and move on. But we wanted to do something different, and we hope you'll agree as you're about to see it. Economic development begins with an attitude which is why we say that we are relentlessly optimistic and confident. But it also begins with a vision and with a mission and with an economic development promise. Our vision is that we be the state of perfect balance, a place where every individual can achieve a balance between prosperity and quality of life. Our mission is to change the trajectory by purposely redesigning our business climate to increase our global competitiveness and our promise in our department will be to transform the culture by focusing on speed and agility and transparency, collaboration, and accountability. We also recognize that we need a set of guiding principles. 
Number one, to be the change maker. Not simply to react, but to create change. Number two, to work in seamless collaboration with all of you. Number three, to invest in what matters most. As you know, Governor Strickland and I often say that we need to both live within our means and invest in what matters. Number four, to innovate with new, more effective solutions and to create a more positive customer experience. And finally, perhaps most importantly, starting this afternoon, to execute, organize, and align to achieve our goals.